This is part number two of our 25 website traffic methods exposed training. These again are all proven methods to get targeted traffic to your website. And as we talked about in part number one, website traffic is essentially the most important thing you can focus on on the internet. Because without people coming to your website, you're not going to get any sales, you're not going to get any leads, no traffic, none of those things are going to happen for you. So you need to get website traffic and these methods, these are methods numbers 11 through 25. So we're going to close out this series and the goal here is is to have you going out there taking action on what you're learning and taking a few of these methods and starting to run with them and then start adding more methods because the key to a good traffic plan is to have many different methods working for you instead of just one. So if one traffic method drives dries up or let's say Google decides to do something goofy then at least you have alternative sources of traffic working for you. You don't want to have all your eggs in one particular basket because that could ruin your business because it's very uh, common when like even article marketing could all of a sudden just not work like it used to work or video marketing or uh, paid ads or something so if all your traffic was just through paid ads or all your traffic was just videos this is where you really want to expand and get multiple sources of traffic coming to your site just like with your business you want multiple sources of income you want multiple sources of traffic as well so you maintain a good flow of leads and sales and getting eyeballs on your offers so here's the proven methods that we have been talking about um, in the last session we talked everything down to forum marketing starting today we're going to be going over Q&A websites press releases online classifieds web directory submissions social bookmarking article submissions guest blogging web 2.0 sites like Squidoo and hub pages old school marketing strategies solo ads joint ventures blog commenting viral reports video marketing and document sharing websites so we're gonna jump right into the training here and really lay it out this one we're gonna start the first five I've actually decided to cover those in PowerPoint slides and then the last ten I'm actually gonna take you off the PowerPoints and really show you guys uh, more some on-screen examples uh, so you guys can kinda see it done live so you guys can completely understand and grasp those particular concepts traffic method number eleven Q&A websites. Q&A sites are websites where people ask questions and answers are given back. It's a social website with fresh updated content. Um, so that's one, one part of what Q&A websites are. There's some authority websites that are Q&A sites out there. For example, you've got answers.yahoo.com and answerbag.com. What you want to do is you want to go in there and create your account and include your website link in your profile. Um, that way when you're giving answers, people can actually go out there and find your profile and somehow figure out, hey, this guy's an expert on acne or curing acne. Maybe I should go check out his blog on acne cure uh, reviews or something. And you have a blog that reviews acne products and you get paid a commission. So that's kind of how it would work. You want to search for questions related to your niche market give good quality answers when you're on these sites and on a few of these you may want to answer with a link a direct link to your blog post you don't want to do this for all of them because that's going to get easy to to detect and they're going to think okay this guy's kind of gaming the system here um, you know and another idea would be to maybe link to an article on like an article directory every day you want to try to spend 10 to 15 minutes on these types of websites and here's an example of a really good Q&A website. This right here is Yahoo Answers and as you see with this website you know you've probably many of you may have even been on this website you can actually browse by categories you can see you know what category health niche uh, you know business it maybe you're somebody that's a traffic expert or SEO expert maybe you know a lot about PHP or coding and you have a website related to that well that would be a perfect opportunity for you to go in spend 10 to 15 minutes a day answer four to five questions and in each one of those inside your profile if people go to your profile they may land on your website or get back to your website because you might offer your blog on your profile for example or something like that uh, another thing that's beneficial here again is that on occasion and I wouldn't do this on every post but on on occasion you can actually write up a useful uh, content piece and actually offer that as 
your answer. What I would do also when using the site as a bonus method, and this can help you with blogging, which we've already discussed, uh, but it, go out to these Q&A sites, see what kind of questions people have in your niche and in, in your marketplace. Like if you're in the golf market and you see people are always asking questions about curing their golf slice or doing something like that, maybe you could write an article, Top 5 Ways to Cure Your Golf Slice. And then you can go on here to this site, search for golf slice, answer the various questions with that link to that resource that you created and that way it doesn't look like you're spamming because uh, you're giving them exactly what they're looking for so you're not just giving them a generic affiliate link or something like that and you're getting what you want because you're getting traffic to your website so I would really use this in multiple ways for one use it to get ideas for your blogging and the second way obviously is going out there answering questions getting people to visit your profile once they visit your profile sending them to your site or on occasion linking them straight to your blog post or a useful article that you've maybe posted on eZine articles or one of those particular websites so there's multiple ways that you can benefit uh, from these methods with Q&A sites traffic method number 12 is press releases press releases are a great way to get exposure and traffic they can send you long-term traffic and build credibility. There are press releases that have been submitted by me that still generate backlinks and some traffic dating back to 2005. So that was almost eight years as of this particular recording. So press releases, especially online press releases, they can stick out there online. They can really build up your credibility in a big way because when they get distributed online, when people type in your website name, your name, your business name, whatever it is they're typing in to maybe find you, press releases can really help you blanket the internet and get listed on multiple different websites. So you're listed pretty much all over. So your business name is really coming up. And that boosts your credibility with people. People will see that and say, wow, this person's found all over the place. Maybe I should work with them, or maybe I should purchase their ebook, or maybe I should get on their email list or start following their blog. Press releases work great for that. Good press releases tell the entire story. They will begin with who, who's the press release about? Is it about you, your company, your website, your new e, you know, your ebook? And pretty much it's gonna be about you if you're the one that wrote it. So who is it about? what is the purpose of the press release what is what is it about is it that you released a new book is it that you released a new website did you just you know make a controversial comment on a certain forum whatever the case is when did you do this when did this take place when is the product going to be launched or released uh, where where can people get access and in this case that's going to be your website link I always open up the press release in the first paragraph with the website link and then I also do a reminder of that link at the very end that way you're getting your link out there in multiple locations some press release sites like the free ones they will offer you just to be able to submit the press release and then you put your website in and then on like the right hand side they'll have something that says like visit the website or something like that so people can go and visit your site um, the why, you know, why are you doing this? That would be a great opportunity for you to quote yourself. I encourage putting quotes in the press release, especially if they're about you or your website. I decided, you know, I got tired of hearing about people struggling in their relationships, so I decided to set out and create a book to help people have a lasting and longer, more fulfilling marriage. You know, if that's your niche, your niche is helping people uh, stay married and helping people keep the passion alive or whatever it is, or helping people um, improve their golf game. And so, you know, you could say, hey, I struggled for years with with golf slices my score was suffering on the golf course it was embarrassing and so I started doing these things and so I wanted to share these with people so that's a great opportunity with the why to really tell a little quote uh, from yourself about why you're doing this why you released your new site I wanted to offer more value to my visitors I wanted to give them more content I wanted to help them why are you giving away this free report because I want to help people it, there's all kinds of reasons you would write a press release and I'll get to those in a moment and then of course the how sometimes that would be like you know how can they get access to it how can they take part in what you have going on you can do a press release for a webinar um, if you're doing a live webinar training you could actually do a press release letting people know and now that is going on you can do press releases for just about anything if you're doing a local seminar if you have changed your website if you're hiring a new employee whatever the case is you can do a press release and that's the beauty of it they do a really good job of building up your credibility for example you would want to tell people about new blog posts 
controversial articles that maybe you've written or controversial viewpoints out in your marketplace. Uh, product launches, so obviously if you're launching a product, if you're doing a book launch, those are perfect, perfect examples of doing a press release. Like you're releasing a new video course, uh, news, uh, like new sites that you're doing or additional sites to, to help people. Maybe you're doing a new website redesign. Uh, maybe you're launching a new line of websites. All those are great reasons to do a press release. Maybe you hired a new uh, president of your company. Then maybe that's a great reason to do a press release. If you have a larger company with a lot of people, then each time you hire somebody, you could do a new press release highlighting that person. If you have a small company, even a small company, if you hired you know a couple people, that's worthy of a press release. It's just another reason to get more content and information out there about your company so you're blanketing your exposure and you're getting a lot of traffic new blog post especially if it's a really good one or like it has an infographic or you've done a really good job of creating a content rich piece a blog post would be a great great reason to submit a press release you could also write press releases addressing current events in the news. So find current events in the news about your industry. Like let's say you're in the health industry. There's always current events going on about new diet plans or maybe uh, diet plans that celebrities are doing. And you could actually write a press release talking about that particular fad and refer people back to your website for more information. Or you could even write a press release with a controversial viewpoint. You know, I think this particular diet plan is terrible and here's why. And so you could start off with John Smith says the whatever diet is terrible. That'd be a great headline for a press release because that's going to get your name out there. It's going to draw attention because it's got controversy. And then in the press release, you can actually sell people on the why it's bad, uh, you know, why you said this, when you said this. That's kind of the news there. And then you could spin that to really generate traffic. Controversy gets a lot of exposure. So if you have a controversial viewpoint, press releases are a really good way to go. For examples of press releases, if you want to know, okay, this is great, but what should I do? You know, what should my press releases look like? Then I would go out here to prweb.com forward slash recent news. prweb.com forward slash recent news. The next one to go out to here is 1888pressrelease.com. 1888pressrelease.com. Dot com. These are both very popular press release websites. Uh, they both offer a paid submission service, but I'm going to recommend a paid one here in just a moment. Uh, the my main thing I, I referred you to these sites for is because I wanted you to see what the press releases look like. What what kind of content are people including? How are they formatted? How are they structured? And as long as you're covering the who, what, when, where, why, and even how, if it makes sense for you in your press release, then you're going to be just fine. But look at the press releases. Look at the length of them. Typically, they're between 350 to 500 words in length. Uh, but you can kind of get an idea by looking at how they're structured, where they're including their quotes, how their opening paragraphs look. Use those for a really good example of good press releases. Places to submit your press release, prunderground.com. This is a paid solution. PR Web offers a paid solution, but it can be upwards of two, three, four hundred dollars. It can be quite expensive. So you may want to look at something like PR Underground, which can get you a lot of exposure for a fraction of the cost of about thirty-nine dollars or less per press release. You can also do press release submissions for free on your own. It's just a matter of going out there and submitting the press release that you've written and copying and pasting it into the different windows that they offer. This can be time consuming, but there are a lot of really good free press release sites out there. Some of them will have an upsell, like if it makes your link active um, and those types of things. But you can also just do a Google search, submit press release free submit press release online and this is going to give you the most up-to-date list because obviously as press release sites go away they're not always going to be out there so I would really recommend going this direction to find press releases you could also do a search for distribute press release or distribute press release online here's an example of a press release you'll notice where I have the arrow going uh, there's a link there that says visit our site and I've also got on their website here I've got the actual name here 
of the actual company. You can see that's their subject line, that's their press release there. This is an idea on 1888 press release of what it would look like. When you publish a press release, this is what it will look like on the actual website. So that is the direction you would go. You want to have a nice, clean looking press release uh, that goes out there. And so that's why I recommend going to this site to really get an idea as to what to include in your press release, what it's going to look like. And then as you see there under contact info, a lot of times they will supply a link to your website. Traffic method number 13, online classifieds. Online classifieds can be a great way to get website traffic. You can post small ads in relevant areas with links to your offer. Be careful about posting too many offers at once though. Uh, so that's definitely one thing. And when I say relevant areas, I mean like, you know, if you're posting about doing freelance writing services on there, like you want to do writing for people, then post it in the small business services section. Don't post it in the health and weight loss area or don't post it in the cars for sale section. Be very particular about where you post that kind of data. If you're offering other services like information on a home-based business, sometimes there's categories for business opportunities sometimes there's not uh, so in that case you could you know find a relevant category maybe it's an everything else category be careful about posting too many offers because some of these press release sites they do kind of check on that like what your IP address is meaning where you're posting from so you don't want to be out there posting uh, 10 of the exact same ad on the same day you might want to post it then a week later after it expires post it again so don't go too crazy if you spam it it's not going to be an effective method for you what you really want to do too is post in the major city categories to maximize your exposure. So like for example on Craigslist and even Backpage they offer uh, submissions for smaller towns but really look at maybe the bigger cities to get a really good idea as far as you know how much traffic is in that marketplace where you should be going you want to look for the major cities to really get more traffic. You could also test on the side and test if you get more clicks by actually doing the major cities or if you get more clicks by actually doing just the small links like going to like the smaller areas because there's less competition so you could test that out but in most cases you're gonna get better results going and submitting your classifieds to these smaller areas and I'll show you an example here in just a moment ads can be short and sweet like your squeeze page headlines so you could take like a squeeze page headline or your offer page like why you know that that gives them a very strong reason to get your product and then just put a link straight to it and I would use like a tracking link it's not a bad idea to use something like bit.ly or bud URL or one of the other tracking services that way you can kind of keep track as far as how many clicks are coming so you know okay well my classified ads this is worth it because I'm getting a hundred clicks now for my classified ads for examples of online classified sites there's craigslist.org many people know of that one it's by far the got, has the most traffic backpage.com add oos.com adus.com those are three of the bigger ones online that you can actually start using backpage has a particular section devoted to like home business opportunities and things such as that as well you could also do a search for online classified sites so do a search in google bing or yahoo or your favorite search engine do a search for online classified sites free classified sites you don't have to search in quotes that's just what the in quotes is what I'm recommending you search for and then something like submit ad free those will also give you several different listings that really come up here's an example of an ad on Craigslist you'll notice I posted it inside Seattle Seattle Washington a huge city and under all services offered then there's one called small business ads so that's where business opportunity listings would fit um, you could also post under small biz ads because it's under all services offered. You could post offers or information for pretty much any kind of, of venture out there. So you could post them for everything from relationships to improving relationships to improving your golf game to also improving uh, like fitness, weight loss. Those types of products could go under small biz ads as well. Uh, so you'll notice here this one is written a little more in length it kind of explains the program you could just copy and paste info from your site and then there is a live link there and as you know Craigslist is a very popular website that gets a lot of traffic and has a lot of eyeballs so it could be very beneficial for you on the reply email 
Um, one thing you could do is they'll ask you for a reply email. You could almost set it up if you wanted to with like an autoresponder email. Um, you'd want to check out their terms and conditions though to make sure they still allow this. Uh, but do like an autoresponder email so if people email you, uh, it, they automatically are added to your AWeber email list. They're sent a confirmation that says, hey, would you like to join this list? Once they join your list, then you're able to uh, market to them by email. So that would be kind of a sneaky way uh, to get their email list. But but it's completely ethical because it's asking them because they're interested in it and it's also asking them to confirm first so it's not like you're just adding them on there and going to start emailing them so that might be an idea to play around with to see and also to test if you're allowed to do that because you don't want to get in trouble not be able to use these sites so just do some testing on it you don't want to spend a ton of time on the on the classified sites there are a lot of them out there um, I would kind of stick with maybe the big three uh, you can experiment if some of them offer paid options which which Backpage does um, you could kind of test that out but I would start off just posting them for free leave them for a few days uh, use a tracking link so you kind of see okay is this working for me am I getting traffic or not uh, but you can see here it is a potential to send traffic these are very high traffic websites that have a lot of eyeballs and especially broader niches like the weight loss fitness health you know people people are always wanting to get in better shape they're always wanting to lose weight they're always wanting to better themselves as a person or to increase their income those types of broad niches niches or broad interest niche markets perform very well with classifieds and again I mentioned this previously there's also like a section where you can offer services so if you're a web designer if you are into graphic design you could list your services on the major classified websites traffic method number 14 web directories targeted niche web directories can send you some traffic as well a lot of people would count this up as an old online marketing tactic. In fact, it's been around since even before Google. Yahoo actually launched the first directory. You can list your main websites in the web directories, and if you do it right, it's still effective. It's not like it used to be where you could just submit yourself to all the directories and that's all the traffic you would need. Uh, you know, you don't, wouldn't have to do anything else. If you do web directories, you definitely need to be doing other sources of traffic. But it's just another place to get you found. It's another place to get a link going to your website. Especially if you're going after niche targeted directories, which I'll explain here in a moment. These are directories centered around your market or they're directories with categories that are very targeted to your offers. It's definitely worthwhile for you. Uh, you don't want to be doing this with the intention of, hey, I want to get as many backlinks as I can from the search engines. You want to be doing it more with the sense that, hey, I want to get overall traffic to my site. And these sites have a good amount of traffic and they're targeted as well. So here's some of the main directories to submit to. Uh, dmoz.org. It is by far, it's been around quite quite a long time. Uh, Dmoz actually feeds a lot of different directories on the internet. It is free to list there and they do have human edited categories but it can take a very long time to get listed. And when I say list your main website, I really mean like your main blog, your main uh, company website, the website where you have most your content on it just because with directories you're going to get have a higher chance of getting listed if you're doing that. I wouldn't list all like your small affiliate sites, things like that. In fact, if that's the only types of websites you have, then you could just move onward with a different traffic method. But if you have like a main website, which most people do, they have a main blog and then they have other little websites, that's what I would be really focused in on here. dmoz.org, best of the web, botw.org, it stands for best of the web. That directory has been around a very long time. With dmoz, again, it can take a while. So you might want to check which category you submit to or categories uh, when you're submitting it and actually see when the last time of that category was edited because it does tell you in one of the either top left or bottom left or right corner uh, just look at the corners of the particular category and DMOZ will actually tell you if that press release you know or if that particular category was edited recently so each one of the categories has like a DMOZ editor but sometimes it takes them a long time to get in there and edit it so take a look at that best of the web it does cost money but it's something you might want to consider paying for especially for your main website if you really want to get it traffic joant.com joant.com is another big and quite popular web directory that can send you a lot of traffic finding niche directories and categories to submit to these are some to consider you can do a search for something like weight loss directory and then in quotes submit site so weight loss directory and submit site 
business directory and the word submit site and use use the submission do the search exactly like I'm showing here so weight loss directory and then in quotes submit site that's going to give you the best result possible because what that's going to do is pull up you know categories that are weight loss directories and then the word submit site it's going to actually pull up directories that have a link that says submit site uh, you know right on in there you can do your search for business directory golf directory weight loss directory fitness whatever market you're trying to attract your work from home you could do the phrase fitness and then submit site free and if you do the search for submit site free it's going to pull up listings that let you submit your website for free be careful about doing too many uh, links back like some of them will actually make you do like a reciprocal link back especially if you get going on a lot of different directories so you want to be careful of that because you don't want to link to too many of them because it can kind of almost discount that link and it's not quite worth it if you're just doing reciprocal links but a lot of them it's okay if you do it on a few of them especially if they're niche and targeted directories uh, but a lot of them won't make you do that some of them will just let you do it for free others will let you do it and then they'll make you take your link down just to kind of verify it's your site those types of things um, and then so be careful about that if you're having to do a lot of reciprocal links and also watch your budget because it's very careful when you get to submitting to a lot of directories that you spend five dollars here ten dollars there and it starts to really add up for you check when the page you are submitting to was last cached by Google that's really really important so if, when you do these searches you're gonna come across listings with with the different web directories so you're gonna find particular pages that you land on that are targeted to like weight loss for example and what you wanna do is go to Google and do a search just like I have here so cache c-a-c-h-e colon and then you copy and paste the website link that you landed on when you did the particular search in Google. So for this one, this directory is called cotid.org, and you'll notice the health, self improvement, weight loss categories where it's submitting. When you do this cache search, it's going to bring up a page in Google that will actually tell you when the page was last cached. Well, in this particular case, this actual page here was last indexed by Google again, or actually spidered by Google, meaning they went out and picked it up. It was just spidered. Uh, couple weeks ago which is not bad at all so that is a good one to go for now if it's been more than like 45 to 60 days so almost two months since it was last indexed or refreshed by Google then move on to a different directory because that means it's not a very active website and you don't really want to be listed on a site that's not very active it's not going to get you much traffic and Google really isn't going to be updating it so you're not going to get the benefit of being in there so and that especially is a good way to do especially if you're paying for a directory listing like on best of the web I would make sure whichever category you list in it's one that gets updated frequently uh, and especially if it's been refreshed like in the last few days that really tells you it's a nice directory uh, to submit to use your website name in the title when submitting you don't necessarily need to be worried too much about anchor text or keywords because that's more of a thing of the past when it comes to SEO write a good description of your website to increase the click-through rate to your site or the click-through to your site meaning as people are on the directories and that's the goal here you want to encourage them to get to your website so you need to have a sentence or two that's kind of enticing as far as what they're gonna find what types of information they're gonna get from you traffic method number 15 old school method it works really well if you have a broad niche these niches could be like weight loss, fitness, we talked about them previously, the work from home, home business, improving yourself, relationships, money saving, resumes, like getting your job out there. This method, the old school methods, will work really well to a broader niche, um, only because it's really more focused. Now the postcard method that I'll talk about at the end here of this old school method, that would actually work. You could actually target that as narrow as you really wanted to, uh, but for these first few methods, they're going to work very work the best with broader niche markets and you'll see why like for example business cards through Biz Vistaprint you can include just a website on there with a short headline or incentive and these business cards you can get as you know you've seen the commercials for about 250 business cards it's about ten dollars so it's very inexpensive and you can place these on community bullet bulletin boards in your community like in different stores they have free bulletin boards with those thumbtacks that you can just stick things on 
grocery stores, gas stations, you see them all over the place. And so if you know where they are in your local community or your area, or maybe you visit an area where you know a lot of them are, you could take a set of these business cards and post them up there and put several of them around the board as well. And this works well, especially like if you're in an area that gets a lot of traffic or a lot of eyeballs, like if you live in a tourist location that also has a lot of people, as long as you're allowed to, to post your cards here, you're just fine. Now, am I telling you just to go post it on any old board and any business? No, no, not at all. But you'll, you will know if it's a public board because you're going to see all kinds of information on these boards uh, from people posting them. And so just putting your business card out there, it's just another way to get yourself exposure. And if you have a good headline on your card, it could just be a white card with like a red headline and then your website link below it then it might entice people to say hey you know I want to know how to make money or I want to know how to lose weight or whatever the case is or get in shape or or have a better relationship banners you've probably seen these uh, the banners with like a small stake in the ground uh, that as you're driving up to like stoplights on street corners like that are public property you've seen some of these as well so you know what the ordinances are in your area so again I'm not telling you to break any rules or laws here these are just ideas that I see around all the time. I see people advertising websites, web design services, other freelance services. You know, people are advertising different things all the time offline. And so that's why these are called, you know, more old school marketing. This might be considered more guerrilla marketing in a sense, in that you're just going out where the people are. And that's why these first two methods work very well for broad niches. Again, only place on public property where you are allowed to post them. You can create those flyers with the tear papers or tear sheets. You've all seen them where there's just like a flyer where it's a piece of paper. And then at the bottom, there's like strips cut. And on that strip, the, there could be 10 of them, you know, on a sheet of paper or whatever that people just rip off that are pre-cut. Um, you could actually include like your website link there. So talk all about your free offer or what it is you're offering. And then there's a link to your website. You could do this with like affiliate offers as well if you just wanted to test it out and post up like a ClickBank offers up there that have like a masked link or something like you're using bit.ly or something to shorten your link up. You could you could experiment doing this as well. Again, only post it where you're allowed to post it. On the small tear sheets, you could put your website. So make sure on you know that it's only on bulletin boards where where you are allowed to share it. Postcards. Get a targeted mailing list from like a reputable provider like Info USA. And for this example, you don't necessarily have to have just a broad niche. You could really narrow this one down as close as you wanted to go. You could find Info USA will have data on people over their over 50, uh, you know, with a certain certain income level. So you could target people over 50 with a certain income level that have expressed interest in working from home or have expressed interest in losing weight or have expressed interest in fitness. You can get very targeted with these mailings and that's where postcard marketing can be good. Another reason is that you probably realize in your mailbox you aren't bombarded as often as you used to be with junk mail. You still get some on occasion or what's considered junk mail which is you know advertisements or offers you didn't request but in this case emails are inundated with junk mail not that emails are bad um, email marketing is probably the best source of traffic you can get uh, and at will too and it's a great way to get exposure and traffic but a lot of people's inboxes just another way to reach a new segment of people maybe it's a group of people that doesn't do email or it's a group of people that obviously is not on your email list yet so that's where this comes into play so you can create a basic postcard. You can use uh, cactusmailing.com has like a postcard builder or they give you some ideas for creating a basic postcard. And you can go through them, follow their guidelines, and actually just see what kind of pricing they offer. So you could buy a list from Info USA, go out and create a basic postcard with cactus mailing, go out, send the, the mail out, see what uh, you end up with, what your results in or your return on investment is. Send postcards with website and a targeted message on it and see what results from it. So traffic method number 16 is all about social bookmarking. So in this particular method, social bookmarking, I'm just going to do a Google search here so you can pull up a few websites to get an idea as to what it is. 
Uh, this website here, ebizmba.com, does a really good job of kind of telling you what the newest, freshest websites out there are. Um, so they do a really nice job of it. So here's a few of the more popular ones. Uh, many of you have heard of Dig. Dig.com. Um, this is where people go out and they actually will share like uh, top stories. Um, Dig's kind of migrating less into a social media site and um, you know more of it's it's putting more less of a social sharing site and it's more of just like um, an actual place to share like articles and things like that. So they've kind of actually done a really good job though of cleaning up their look here. So you can go through, um, you know, people can dig these various comments. Um, so what you want to do when you first get on here is go in here to sign in and create your account. And then you can actually sign in with like Facebook or Twitter. Um, and at the very bottom here, dig.com submit, you can actually submit a link uh, to dig. So you can go to dig.com. And this is the best way to get the most out of Dig here uh, is to go ahead and create like a content rich piece. That would be like, you know, content like top 15 ways to lose weight. Or like this is a perfect example of a great blog post. Top 15 uh, most popular social bookmarking websites. And then you could put the updated date. And this tells you, you know, they tell you why these are the most popular sites and whatnot. Um, so this is a great idea. You could create an article on your blog and the other sites I was telling you only submit, you know, when it came to like web directories, I was telling you to only submit uh, in particular to like your main website, for example. But with social bookmarking, you can submit, if you have an informative piece of content on any one of your websites, whether it's an infographic, if it's a video, if it's an article you've po posted on an article directory, if it's an article you've posted on your blog, Dig works really well. Just go to dig.com. Go down here to submit, submit link at the very bottom, and then plug in your link, and then you can sign in with your Facebook or Twitter to make that link active. And so that's a really good way uh, to get your content submitted on Dig, which is a very, very popular uh, website out there on the internet. Another, uh, you know, really good social bookmarking site that's been around a while is called Reddit. It's r e d d i t dot com. So what you can do here is, um, you know, notice it's a lot of it's kind of funny news and information. So things that are really share worthy that you think, um, you know, is going to get you the best results. But more importantly, it's also helpful to do the social bookmarking aspect only in the sense that it's a great way to get your content indexed. So as soon as you get your new blog post, go out to Dig, go out to Reddit, maybe a few other sites, post it out there so it starts getting some traction and some traffic. So these sites all work pretty much the same. Um, you log in, you go through the process of just submitting to them. So this is kind of what uh, you know social bookmarking websites look like. Many of you have probably heard of uh, Delicious. It's one. You know, it's one of those other social. It's a social bookmarking sharing type website that has also been around for a while. Google's options that you would do here: go to Google search, and we're going to do social bookmarking sites and then you could do your niche or social bookmarking site let's say uh, fitness or health and you could come across maybe a few other um, you know social bookmarking sites you may not be able to get as many um, you know that are very targeted there so I would just do a Google search here social bookmarking sites and there's quite a few out there. It's just a matter of you know really going out there. You can find websites by doing these searches. I like it because a lot of people have aggregated a nice list of social bookmarking sites. So like here's one, Folked, uh, Digida, Ebombs World, Link, Agogo. And these methods still work. The best use of them though is going to be when you ever you create a content piece, article, video article that you submitted to an article directory blog post those are those are the kind of things that do best when shared through social bookmarking channels so that is an idea for you right there the next thing here uh, the next order of business that we're going to be talking about is traffic number 17 article submissions so article submissions 
one of the best um, sources of traffic still out there um, can be unique article submissions. So what I would do here, um, the most popular one out there, and this is probably the best example I can give you, is ezinearticles.com. Ezinearticles.com. So what you want to do here is um, go through Ezine articles. You can get an idea as to the different categories. There's internet, there's home-based business in its entire category. And we're just going to narrow down into the home business category. And you can click here. This is by a guy, Best Home Business, My Top 10. And he tells you what are the top 10 home-based businesses and why. And then at the very link here, he's got a website that goes off. And this one looks more like it's an affiliate site. And he's promoting the Big Idea Mastermind. So he's done a really good job here of with his article writing a good informative article submitting it out there and then at the very bottom here putting a link down there uh, to the actual site itself to the actual article um, you can see here this article was submitted just a few days ago it's already been viewed 96 times you can see here it's about 100 visitors to this article and it was submitted just a few days ago and this is an article that will be out there for a very long time so that's really the power of article marketing you want to create a good informative article with these nine articles to get the best chance of being submitted you want it to be 400 plus words um, I would recommend if you're not somebody that likes to write articles that you go out to a site called iwriter.com iwriter.com and it's a really good place to find uh, people to actually do um, the actual submission or writing for you and then you can go out to ezine articles there's another really good one it's called goarticles.com GoArticles.com is also another very large article directory. Um, it used to be beneficial for you when you're doing article marketing to go out and submit your single article to hundreds of different article directories and there was software that did it for you. It's just not as effective as it used to be to go to all these different directories. The best thing you can do is at the very least go to eZine Articles, create a very unique article for eZine, go to them write a unique variation or have a unique variation written that goes to go articles and then also look at submitting to like articles dashboard.com that's another good size article directory let's see what happened there whoop not article dashboard it's articles base that's the article directory articlesbase.com this is the big one articlesbase.com goarticles.com and ezinearticles.com these are the three biggest ones that will by far get you some of the better search engine rankings and as you can see if you're wondering just like with press releases how do I write these what do they look like go through the site look at the examples especially look at the examples of articles written in your niche so if you're in the home business niche Lawrence here is a great example of what it should look like and he's got his link here to his website he does a really good job in his author resource box which is where I would recommend you also make sure you're putting a link straight to your site because that's how you're going to get traffic you're gonna write an informative article then at the very end it's gonna have an actual website link for you so that is what article marketing is all about that is uh, you know it's still a great way to go and then obviously another search phrase you can do is try to connect yourself with niche article directories so you can go out there and you can do a search for submit article and then you could do weight loss and this will actually possibly bring up um, some different articles related to weight loss that you could actually submit your article to and there may not be a whole bunch of other um, you know other options but you may come across something so or article directory weight loss or health you could even do a search for like health article directory so like here's health article directory it's all like you know more health related topics it's got other health related topics it's a website called health article directory um, you could just do a search out here for a list of different directories that you come across for your niche 
So that would be the only other article sites I would recommend submitting to would be niche ones. They can be harder to find though. Um, so at the very least, I would stick with these big ones. And then another key phrase you can do a search for is, is like submit uh, content and then do your search for, uh, let's just say fitness. So submit content and then the word fitness and you'll come across like here's one uh, fitness galore. Uh, let's see, sit, uh, submit content bodybuilding forum right here. And this is another forum, but you can actually post like an, an entire article right here, as you see here, um, on this Real Muscle Forum. So if you're in the fitness market, just by doing that search, I came across a very niche and focused website that you can actually go out here now and post on a variety of different sites. So that works out very well for you as well. So go out there, do a search for like submit content, submit article, and then your niche keyword phrase to come across uh, that next bit of content. Traffic method number 18 is all about guest blogging. So here's how guest blogging will work. The main site you want to go to is guestblogit.com. Guestblogit.com. So in a nutshell, what guest blogging is, is it allows you to actually go out there and get content written from other people, for one. So you could actually go out there and say, hey, I need fresh content. I want unique content for my blog. And you could say, I'm looking for people to write articles on fitness or home business or relationships, and I need help with this. Or I need uh, people to write articles on parenting or family. So if whatever your niche is, you could go on these sites, actually have people write articles for you. You don't even have to pay for the unique content, but they write a unique article, but they also get a chance to link back to their website. And then on the flip side, where the traffic part comes in for you, now there's two ways to get traffic with guest blogging. The first one is you have a unique piece of content on your site, so that naturally will bring people to your website. That's going to bring traffic from the search engines, from your blog. People are going to share it like it, tweet it, those types of things. So that part is very beneficial for you. The second way to get traffic is to be a guest blogger yourself. So this site's a really good job because it connects both people. It's kind of like eBay connects buyers and sellers. This connects uh, people that are bloggers or writers or that have content that they want to share with websites that actually are looking for that content. So the other way you can get traffic is not only can you have your blog open to get guest blog posts on it so that you get unique content, but you also win because you're able to write really good articles that actually then are posted on somebody else's blog or website, and then that blog or website, which is targeted to your niche, links back to your website. So that's where guest blogging is a beautiful thing. And this site, again, connects those people. So you're not having to go out there and do a lot of searches for it. So guest blog it is that particular website. Now I'll show you the searches you can do. Um, so like, for example, you could do, let's see, let's just say, um, Let's type in fitness here because that's a big topic. Or let's just say health. And then let's say guest blog. So there you go. The health insurance shell game. Um, submit a guest blog post right here. Notice that. Natural health forum right here. Submit a guest blog post right here. Post submitted should be original. Show post should inform and not sell. You'll get in about the author section. That's important. So you can put a link to your site. There you go. So you notice right here, they actually have an open call for guest bloggers. And I did that by doing a search for health and guest blog. And when you're done, your post would be on a very uh, focused, targeted website, which is for one, the kind of backlinks you want to get. And number two, it's sending you traffic. It's getting your content and your information and yourself with a link to your website in front of a targeted audience, which is key to getting long-term traffic. So right here, guest blog. This is called HestiaHealth.com. Notice right here, they're offering an opportunity for guest bloggers as well. So people can go in here and be a guest blogger. They have submission guidelines and all that, those kind of keywords. So you could do a phrase like health or your niche. You could also do a search like submit, submit guest blog. 
and just kind of play around with the different search options but just you know submit guest blog guest blogging guest blog post um, those types of phrases to come across other blogs in your niche or you could just use a tool like guestblogit.com, which kind of helps accomplish that. But guest blogging is a great way to get traffic. There's two different ways. You can actually accept posts onto your website so that you can have unique content written for you. Um, the only thing is that when somebody writes content for you, you need to keep their website links intact. Secondly, uh, the other secondary way, which is another great way, is to have you be the one that writes articles or you pay somebody to write articles for you. And then you take those articles and submit them. Uh, via guest blogging to a few other relevant websites. So that's how guest blogging is going to work for you and benefit you. Traffic method number 19, Web 2.0 sites. So Web 2.0 sites, those are websites with user generated content. So these are websites that actually allow people to submit content to them. So here's a few examples of some good sites out there. There is squidoo.com. It's quite possibly one of the more popular ones out there. Um, Squidoo.com is a website where people actually go out there and they create what's called a lens or a particular page. So Squidoo, you know, lots of different people are out there using uh, this kind of content to create, uh, you know, their own information. You can come in here and join for free and you can just, if you're already a member, you just log in or if you're brand new, you would just go through here to sign up. Let me take a kind of show you through those some of these lenses. How to paint monsters in paintings. So this is what somebody's done. They've actually got 85 likes on Squidoo, 17 likes on Facebook, six shares. It's a great way. It's a very high profitable social sharing website. So this person's just written up some content on how to paint monsters. Um, she's got a picture there with the photo credit. So this, in a nutshell, is what a, a lens is. It also gives you a chance to make money with Amazon ads, which is kind of a bonus. But more importantly, it gives you a chance to get your profile out there. And also, the most important aspect is going to be a link to your website, which you can place somewhere in your Squidoo lens. So the key part here is you want to create a really good, unique content piece in hopes that this site is going to get shared. Because Squidoo is a very high, uh, you know, it's a high profile, very, very busy um, you know website with a lots of traffic lots of exposure and you notice this content here she's got lots of comments which is great for social sharing and this wasn't posted all terribly long ago and it's getting all this traffic and exposure so this is a really good one um, it's in the art and design category she's obviously into art and design um, she's created 440 featured lenses so she really knows what she's doing um, so that's what you know Squidoo is all about that's the kind of information you can post on here you can get all kinds of info you could share links to your blog post you could pull in your RSS feed you could combine it with RSS feeds from other websites out there um, share links to other sites give your own um, like right here here's a poll result and this Squidoo does a really good job of getting you traffic so that's one of the websites out there you can post your own content on here you just have to become a member next one is hubpages.com it's similar to Squidoo uh, but quite different you can create uh, you know original media rich hubs as they say so that would be like where you're sharing YouTube videos it doesn't even have to be videos you made you can embed your own unique videos and so that's another thing you can be doing here uh, with Squidoo. So here's an example here of this particular topic. Top 10, the 10 coolest dog bowls. This is a Squidoo lens here. Notice it's got, you know, some nice pictures here. And it's got a list of 10 different uh, dog bowls that are unique looking. And this is a really good job of a Squidoo lens here because they're actually posting, you know, pictures here. Um, kind of engaging their audience. They also have here like Amazon affiliate links throughout the Squidoo lens or this Hub Pages lens. So this is what Hub Pages is. It's kind of like Squidoo, um, but you're out there creating unique content. And when I talk about unique content, it means content that you've created particularly just for Hub Pages themselves. You don't want to take content that's found elsewhere on the internet because they won't approve it. But Hub Pages can end up sending you quite a bit of traffic as well. 
Another place, this is a little bit different than uh, Squidoo and Hubpages itself, but you can actually build and cultivate your own online community with Ning. Ning is kind of like your own little social network in its sense, uh, and it allows you to actually go out here. You can try it out for free, and it allows you to go in there and create like your own little network. Well, you can go out here and actually find uh, communities that will actually allow you to share various pieces of content on here within your niche market. So Ning might be something else to consider if you're looking for other alternatives to like Squidoo. Here's a really cool search as well because a lot of people don't know about Squidoo alternatives. Do a search for Squidoo alternatives right here. Um, this one ironically is posted on Squidoo. Um, th this gives you a listing of websites, Mahalo, Mahalo.com looks yeah this one actually looks very similar to Squidoo um, where you can actually go out there and post your own user generated type content so that's what that is um, just do a search for that because you'll come across a lot of different options I've done a search for that and I'm always getting all kinds like the warrior forum does a good job people letting you know um, so just do a search for like alternative and you'll find them there's a lot of websites out there so don't just limit yourself with web 2.0's to just Squidoo and hub pages there's a lot of different websites and alternatives um, that you could be doing um, you could also do a search for sites like Squidoo and there's a website that comes up called siteslike.com and it does a really good job of kind of listing uh, various websites out there. So like this site, as soon as you put in the website, it kind of creates a unique list. And some of these you got to be careful of. Let's skip this ad here. And you've got, it's got a variety of different options here like StumbleUpon, Wikipedia, and those types of sites as well. All right, and then um, so that was an example there of of that particular website here. So let me create a new window here. Then there's another website that I really like to use called SimilarSiteSearch.com. Similar site search, and then you can type in the site that you like, so like Squidoo.com into Similar Site Search, and it pulls up Ning as an option. Um, it pulls up a few other similar sites that allow you to share your content. You can kind of play around with them to see if you find something, uh, but there's a good chance you're going to find, like this is a collaboration community where you could post additional content. So do searches for like sites like Squidoo, do searches for similar site search. It does a really nice job of bringing together like here's 61 sites that they consider are similar to Squidoo where you can actually post your content. And so that's what Web 2.0 is. It's user generated content. And Squidoo benefits because they're getting unique content. They're getting more traffic and exposure so they can display their ads. But you win because you're getting a very high traffic website. So that's the beauty and the benefit of doing uh, marketing with Web 2.0 sites. So traffic method number 20 is solo ads. And I'm going to explain exactly what solo ads are here in the next few minutes. So solo ads are basically in a nutshell, it's where you pay somebody with a targeted email list to send traffic for you to your squeeze page or to your offer. So for solo ads to work correctly, you want to be sending the traffic that you're paying for to your squeeze page or your landing page. And so you pay somebody with, with the list, with followers or with an email list. So let's say somebody out there has a list of 10,000 people and they can send you 150 to 200 clicks for example you would pay that person let's say fifty dollars to a hundred dollars for them to send you the 200 clicks and generally you're gonna be paying between 30 to 50 cents a click sometimes a little bit more uh, but it's very targeted as long as it's a very targeted list it's actually a very inexpensive way to be building up your email list so solo ads are a great way to build up your following because you're contacting people that can send you guaranteed traffic that's very targeted traffic because their list is centered around the offer you want to send them to and you go out there and you pay them and in exchange they send an email for you so it's a win-win because they get paid they may have an open window on their email calendar that they're making money on that's what solo ads are so 
you can actually go out to the solo ad directory at soloaddirectory.com and you can actually get a list of all these different people that are selling solo ads and you can kind of see you know what solo ads you would want to go with there there's uh, solo ad directory safe swaps safeswaps.com is another source where you can actually go out you can buy solo mailings from their people and you can go out there and do searches for um, you know solo ad providers another place to go to find good solo ads is an article directory so you can go out here to ezine articles this takes a little more work uh, but you can actually go right on out here and let's say you're trying to get people to your home business market so go on out here let's find an article um, online marketing and let's just click on her link here and see if she's building her email list up and it doesn't look like she's doing a good job of building her email list so let's just go on to the next person so you want to go through here this takes a little more effort uh, but you want to find people that are trying to build up their email list and you'll notice here she's got kind of a you know get in touch with this box you could actually go here and contact this particular person you know and ask them if they're interested in doing a solo ad so you can find people in your niche and see if they're interested in doing solo ads you can find the major players in your market like the people that you know have a big email list and contact them just reach out to them see if they sell solo ads um, you can do Google searches for solo ads or solo ad providers so like internet marketing solo ads and see who you come across you can come across a large list of people there's several different websites out there that you'll come across and you can go out there and just kinda see uh, you know who's offering solo ads like when I did a search here uh, this guy's list come on uh, this guy named Frank Dang he's selling solo ads right here so you can get an idea by just doing a Google search as well for your niche market to see who you can come across you can find solo ads for like the finance like the Forex stock trading type market you'll find a lot of them for like the health and fitness niche market especially a lot for the business home business web traffic internet marketing type markets um, some with the relationship marketing you'll have to do some testing you might have to do more legwork on the other niche markets like going out to the article sites to find them um, but they are out there so the key thing is is to find them approach them and say you know hey I've got an offer here and I want to pay you money to send me traffic and then kind of take it from there but solo ads are a great way to get targeted guaranteed traffic we talked about previously about the only way to guarantee any kind of traffic is to pay for it solo ads are a great return on your investment most of the time and it's a method where if it doesn't work out the first time you can rinse and repeat and try it with somebody else and you're bound to find a few good solo ad providers that you can continue working with traffic method number 21 is joint ventures this can be one of your most important traffic methods so I really recommend you look at this this can send you the quickest amount of traffic in the shortest amount of possible time it's a great way to get traffic and it's actually an inexpensive source of traffic because you're only paying if people take some sort of action so if they send you a lot of traffic you only have to pay them a commission if the people end up purchasing so it's not like you're going out there and you're buying 500 clicks or you're paying for a thousand clicks and pay-per-click and not sure about the results it's a win-win because your joint venture partners are getting paid every time a sale is made you're winning because you're actually not having to put up the money up front for the traffic so it's a win-win it's a great way to get a large amount of targeted traffic so joint ventures is one of the best things you can do uh, really what what joint ventures are it's where you pay somebody or you get affiliates is what they're referred to you get affiliates that have either like a targeted email list they have a blog uh, with a lot of followers or a lot of readers on it somehow they have access to a lot of traffic that you may not have access to and so your goal is to find people in your niche that are good affiliates people that can send you targeted traffic traffic that's interested in your offers to your pages to your sales pages and download pages whatever the case is but you want to have it set up where there are people sending traffic to your sales offers so that they're able to get a commission you're able to get traffic for your offers so the first site here is launchboards.com um, this is a great website to go out there and for one to find places for offers that you can promote um, but most importantly you can go out here and actually post 
your products here in the marketplace. So you can actually come in here with new product launches and actually submit yourself inside these directories to find affiliates to promote for you. So it's a really good system to use and that's launchboards.com. They do a really good job. They work with many different niche markets as well. And again, you can just go in here, post your different offers and come across and actually get your offers right on in here so that you can potentially get up affiliates. So you can when you have an offer to promote like it's your own product launch, it has to be a product that you know you've created that's going to give you the best um, offer possible or if you're taking a private label rights product and rebranding it uh, so it's kind of unique to you this is a great way to go is to go out here to launch boards post your offer in there you'll pick up a few affiliates another good site in the internet marketing niche is called munchi.com munchi.com it's another place to go that you can find affiliates some places to list your products on there is jvzoo.com there is also clickbank.com so jvzoo.com clickbank.com um, these are also some really good markets for you to tackle um, as well so like if you have a product that you want to list you could actually list it on jvzoo and if you choose it will automatically be listed in the marketplace so as sales are made it tracks your affiliate commissions it pays them automatically or it tracks them for you so you can pay them out later and it will actually list you in the marketplace so you're able to go out there and get exposure from everybody that is an affiliate with JV Zeus so you're able to target a large group of people that already are affiliates same thing with Clickbank they have the Clickbank marketplace which you'll need to uh, you know just go up there to Clickbank forward slash marketplace and you can again have your product listed in the marketplace when your product is completed so when you have a product if you sell it through Clickbank you're able to pick up affiliates that are already Clickbank affiliates so not only would you want to submit on like Munchai if it's like an internet marketing type product or launch boards if it's a product for many different niche markets but you also want to go out there to get joint ventures and use something like Clickbank or JVZoo to leverage that kind of authority we mentioned this when going through solo ads but eZine articles is teaming with possible joint venture partners for you if your content is focused around let's say the health and fitness niche so here's health and fitness and let's say um, you have an article on let's go down here on acne you, or you have a product on acne for example you're gonna contact every single one of these people that have written an acne article so how to reduce the appearance of pores so you want to go through here and say okay so who's this person I want to contact them they have a nice looking website I'm gonna contact them to see what they you know if they're interested in promoting my cure acne report so ezon articles it takes a lot of work to do this but you're it's very simple work you're just going out there finding people in your marketplace and then reaching out to them and contacting them another great way to get joint venture partners is to go out on Facebook and do searches on Facebook for people that are in your niche market look for pages of people that are in your niche market send them a private message do the same thing on Twitter go out there on Twitter look for people in your marketplace on Twitter um, that are out there as well so here's twitter.com forward slash search and let's just type in let's say home business and so here's a guy MLM home biz it looks like you know he's got 20,000 followers well I could come here on to fit on Twitter here follow him and then maybe send him a direct message if it allows me to and say hey I've got a product that hits that exact market that you're trying to go after so it's um, you know it's an actually a really really good way to go so uh, Twitter search is definitely another way to reach out and find affiliates for you All right, so the next method that we're going to be talking about here is blog commenting. It's another great way to get targeted website traffic. The next source of traffic is blog commenting. It's a method that many would consider to be an older method, but it is a method that's still valid and that can still work for you. So what you want to do is go to google.com forward slash blog search. So go to google.com forward slash blog search and what you want to do is go out here and just do a simple search for uh, the particular niche that you're trying to go after because you only want to leave comments on targeted blogs so let's go here for example and let's just say golf 
we're going to bring up all of the golf related blogs that come up. So here's one, let's see, golf channel, uh, let's go here, golf blog. Okay, um, the Gotham, Gotham golf blog, Husky golf blog. And let's just click on that. That is his actual website. Um, this looks like it's for an actual college out there. And you'll notice here they do have a comment option. So you can actually come in here, leave a targeted message on this actual blog, and at the very end you could put a link to your golf related website. So that's one way where blog commenting works really, really good. As you go out here to Google Blog Search, you find relevant blogs, so these are golf, you know, blogs related to golf, if that's your market. You could find other ones related to fitness, health, acne, relationships, earning money online, whatever the case is. You'll find a particular blog post here. So here's one from June 25th, and then go in here and post your comment. You could comment as your Google account, WordPress. You can choose, you know, which profile you want to use, and as long as your profile has like your website link in it, you're going to be good to go. So let's go back here. This one's on like uh, Google blog search there. And let's do one other search here to find another targeted blog. So let's go uh, make money online. And so here's here's a blog. Uh, doc, let's see. How can teens make money online? We'll go through here and you can actually scroll down here's the comments and then you can come down here to the very bottom and leave a comment yourself so you put in your name so use your real name here your email and it could be like at gmail or at hotmail and then your website would go here and then leave your comment here. So that's how that works. So you're basically just going out, Google Blog Search, a great way to find blogs. You can search through to find blogs in your particular niche market. And what you're gonna be doing there though, is you know go out there, leave your comment, uh, make sure your comment's relevant. Like, you know, don't just say, oh, this was helpful or this was good, but go out there and be very specific and say, I like this post because of this, or I agree with you here, or I disagree with you here actually act like you read the blog post because that's going to increase the chance that they're going to approve your comment and therefore approve your link right with it because if you notice here all these people right here they've actually come here and made a relevant comment that then went in here and linked right back to their particular website so if you click on here this is actually linking to this guy's website trafficmarketingdaddy.com so this is linking to this guy's particular website he just went out made a comment saw a good relevant blog post and made a good comment and so again you're doing all this google.com forward slash blog search google.com forward slash blog search and that's a great way it's a blog search engine you can find all kind of blogs that you can submit to another place you can go is blog directories do a search on google or yahoo um, this one you know whatever pops up here this is a list of you know here's a list of blog directories so you can go out to these particular individual blog directories and just simply do a search to find individual blog directories like blogcatalog.com is one of the bigger ones and so you can go out here and do a search for let's just say fitness and this will pull up a various amount of fitness uh, blog posts or blogs out there so Hive Health Media Michael Jordan this is his uh, fitness lessons from Michael Jordan and if you scroll down here most of the time you're gonna see a comment section so here's an option to leave your comment and within that you can actually you know post a upload an image with it you could put a link with it uh, those types of things so you can just find it through blogcatalog.com you could also find uh, cat you know blogs in your niche market with Google blog search the key thing is go out there make a few comments you don't need to do a ton of these you could do three or four a day you could do uh, five if you want Another cool thing is if you're on somebody's email list in your niche market and they send you an email and they say, hey, I've just posted a new blog post, go out there as soon as you get that email, leave a comment on that blog post because because they sent their, it to their email list, they're going to be getting traffic. So you're going to be able to pick up some residual traffic that way as well. So it's a great way to just go, boom, I'm going to jump in here, post a comment 
all the traffic that ends up coming through may end up seeing my comment may actually click on my link you're also getting a backlink from a relevant website which also helps you overall in the search engines so blog commenting it's a method that's been around a while and if you do it the right way is then you leave an actual good useful comment it's actually going to get approved and it's going to help everybody everybody wins that way the person that is creating the content they want comments even if you're using it to build your backlinks they want them because they know the more comments they get the more social engagement points they're gonna get with the search engines it's a win-win all around you're helping them they're helping you it's a great thing to do as long as you're doing it right and not just spamming them with links that are you know wrong or you're posting like a, a name that's like a keyword just post your real name in there when you're leaving comments and you're good to go traffic method number 23 is viral report so viral reports is basically it's another form of viral marketing you want to create a very nice solid piece of content according to Wikipedia it's a way that it gets your content shared um, from social networks and social phrases so viral marketing it's something that's been around a very long time where it kind of spreads like a virus and the purpose here is you want to create a report like a PDF it could be uh, an ebook a variety of different topics here that you can actually sit there and create and you want that to get shared around on the internet and passed around so the key parts here is you want to go out to like the Q&A sites is a great great spot to go so if you go to answers.yahoo.com which we talked about as one of the traffic methods earlier in this part number two here and you want to go out you want to see what kind of questions people are asking so you can look at the popular ones which will show you kind of the more popular uh, questions and answers um, you can go out here and just do a search on answers so let me just do a search here and let's say acne so let's say I'm an acne expert and I want to help people with that because there's Clickbank products I can recommend um, what acne products work best to get fast and effective results what acne products will work for my skin right here here is a couple of questions that you could instantly take do just a little bit of research on and you could have a page of a viral report a viral report doesn't need to be even 10 pages it could be between five to seven good quality pages of content five to seven articles even that you have pieced together of some of the best articles that you've written and you could throw those into a report you can use the viral report by offering like giveaway rights to it as well in your marketplace you can allow people to give it away you could give people incentives for sharing it like if they share it you give them like a coupon code if they share it on Twitter for example you could say hey if you can contact my support desk and show me that you shared this on Twitter or you posted it on your Facebook wall then I will give you a coupon for 20 percent off my products uh, that's kind of the purpose here so go out to the Q&A sites and actually create a report around these and these could be five to seven articles a short five to seven report would be just fine and then you can out go out to a site like slideshare.com or other document sharing websites you can actually go out to these particular websites which we'll talk about as another traffic method moving on here and you can actually share your report on here because they allow you to report uh, to actually upload PDFs and we'll talk about that more in method number 25 as well but this is another way to kind of get your content out there uh, in another medium so you're also gonna use it as your giveaway so you're actually able to list build you could do a video around your report you could do a press release around your report to kind of help it go viral and pick up the momentum you could do the incentive game where you actually give them an incentive by contacting you you give them a coupon uh, those types of things lots of different options you can do with viral reports the key thing is you want to have a really good report that people want to share that people want to share with people they know and love and a great way to do this again the Q&A sites here Yahoo answers do a search for your keyword let me just type in the phrase golf slice so how to quick you know how to quick get a fix for you know how to quit slicing the golf ball their spellings a little bit off um, how can I get rid of my golf slice but still swing with a lot of power so these are all options you could say wow okay right here okay people want to know how to quit slicing the golf ball they want to know how to cure it I'm a beginner golfer so like how to cure golf slice for beginners how can I get rid of golf slice and have power so these are really good article ideas that you could take and create and Yahoo Answers gives you these right at your disposal you just have to type in your niche and you can find them create a report around that content and 
this could also go down clear to like video marketing. You could create videos around these, create slides around these options, and then go out there and submit them as well. So lots of possibilities here as far as viral, viral reports go for viral marketing. Traffic method number 24 is video marketing. Video marketing is one of the fastest ways that you can start getting traffic to your website as well. It's very popular. As you know, um, by Alexa standards, video, YouTube is one of the most popular websites on the internet. If you go to alexa.com and you look at their top sites category, you're going to find YouTube is the third most visited website globally, meaning in the world. So it is the third uh, most visited website. It's actually ahead of Yahoo themselves, which is also a huge website. It's ahead of Amazon. It's ahead of even Wikipedia, Windows Live. It's ahead of all those big players. Facebook just recently jumped ahead of YouTube as well. So YouTube is an absolutely huge way to get traffic. Another nice thing about YouTube is that your videos can actually get listed in Google as well. And here's kind of an example of you know just basic videos that can do very, very well for you. So you can see here, here's just some you know very basic uh, videos out here. And this right here is just a very simple video um, that just has content, that just has information just streaming through it. And it's just got background loops with it. It's super, super simple. And it's just got very basic music set to it. And it's just got background loops that are just looping through here. And right here, this video has 539,223 views on it on YouTube. And it's sending a pile of traffic. And it shows up when people are looking for free motion background loops, free video background loops. But that's a lot of potential exposure. And you can see down here, there is a link in the format of HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. So the link is not www that actually links right over to a squeeze page for example straight from a youtube video and it goes right here and that means there's been there's been over almost well it's over a half a million exposures to this squeeze page and this builds a nice solid email list on a consistent basis so there's a lot of potential with video marketing you do not need to be an expert to create videos it does not take a lot to create videos uh, you can actually create videos with Windows Live Movie Maker by just simply taking pictures that you find on the internet related to your niche you can actually go out to a site like pixabay.com which is a royalty free picture website you can go out here and just do a simple search for your marketplace. So let's just say happiness. That's kind of your you're selling self improvement. So you can go here, Shutterstock. They're like an affiliate of theirs or something like that. Um, but you can come out here, find these pictures that you have the rights to use. Pixabay. On a lot of these pictures, you actually have the rights to go through and use them. This is a public domain picture that you could use. So I could just right click, save this image together. And then I've got some videos or some pictures that I can actually start using related to happy and those types of things. And I could put those together into a slideshow using the free Windows Movie Maker. The other option that you can do is go in here just like you've got a PowerPoint slide here. You can go in here and create PowerPoint slides. You could even take your articles, for example, that you've written and maybe already submitted. You could take sentences of your articles and make them bullet points on your slides. And then you can use a free software called Cam Studio to actually record the actual content. So Cam Studio, it's just camstudio.org. And just go to camstudio.org. And this is actually a free software that works on Windows, and it actually is a screen capture software that re record what's going on in your screen. Another one that costs money, but it's by far the most popular one out there, it's called Camtasia by a company called TechSmith. And you can do even a free trial to kind of test it out and produce several videos, but you can actually create quite a few videos with Camtasia. The other software that I was talking about was Windows live movie maker which generally comes pre-installed on most windows computers but if not you can just do a search for 
Windows Live Movie Maker and download it straight from Microsoft's website that you see here. Get Movie Maker, you choose your operating system, and you can go ahead and get it. The other um, thing I wanted to point out for you is uh, there's a screen flow. Oh, Screencast O Matic is another website. Screencast O Matic. Screencast O Matic dot com. Screencast O Matic. It's another uh, free one that you can use on also a Mac computer to record what's on your screen. So you can take like a PowerPoint slides. And again, if PowerPoint is too expensive for you, you do not have PowerPoint, you can actually go out and use something called Open Office. OpenOffice.org. Download this. It's a free. Um, off, you know, Microsoft Office solution. It's not created by them, but it's actually a good, uh, you know, it's it's actually very similar to Microsoft Office. It has a Word, a similar thing to Word, to PowerPoint, to Excel, to the whole nine yards. You could actually just create simple PowerPoint slides, even on a gray background with black font, as simple as you can get, and just use like a microphone headset. Like for example here. I'm using a USB headset which you can get on Amazon. Just go to amazon.com, type in Logitech Logitech USB headset. You can go out here, it's about $27. Most computers have a built-in microphone if you're just getting started. And now right there you've actually got you know some a way to record your content that's fairly inexpensive so even if you don't go the headset route you can have the free pictures you can use in your slides even the free PowerPoint slides the articles you've written and you can produce videos for free using Screencast-O-Matic or Cam Studio using open office you can produce your own videos then as you get better you can add more to them then all you have to do is simply come over to YouTube upload the videos make sure you use good keywords when you're uploading them use a description with a link to your squeeze page notice this one has two links to it and you're off to the races it's a really good way to get targeted traffic to your particular offers you can also go out here to Google and type in submit video because there's more than just YouTube out there so you can do a search for submit video um, you could do submit video and do like marketing for example and maybe come across places where you can submit your marketing videos as well but just go through here, play around with it. YouTube is a big one out there. Uh, there, it's probably by far going to be the biggest one. You're, it is by far the biggest one you're going to come across, and you're going to get the most results from it. But you may also want to consider uh, other sources where you can submit your video online. There is a program out there called Traffic Geyser, which I will show you what that looks like here. It's called Traffic geyser and it is a program where you can actually do automated video submissions to multiple video sites as well and it's all kind of funneling traffic to your page it's it's not a bad idea to consider uh, you can go through go through their website to really get an idea but that's traffic geyser is what it's called it's a great way to get a video submitted to more than one video site out there and on the internet but definitely you want to integrate YouTube and video marketing into what you're doing because when you're doing Google searches now even you're seeing video results that are coming up so here's an example So inside the search here, you've got images. Sometimes you'll have videos that will actually pop in here. Um, you know, there's just a lot of different, lot of different options. No matter what it is you're searching for, you see it right here. Like here's a Doberman Pinscher video that pops right up here in from YouTube, straight from YouTube. When I type in just Doberman Pinscher, even so, you can get the idea here that people are using video all the time. Google's putting a lot of weight on it. Video marketing is absolutely huge. Traffic method number 25 is document sharing sites. It's another great way to get targeted traffic to your website from authority sites that the search engines like. Document sharing websites are a tremendous way for you to start getting traffic to your offers. I'm on a website right now called slideshare.net. This is a website that lets you submit pictures, it lets you submit uh, PDF files or even PowerPoint slides. You can also, the, to get the most effectiveness, is to create your content in like PowerPoint or use OpenOffice from OpenOffice.org to use their version of PowerPoint, which is free. And you can go out there and use that version to produce PowerPoints uh, that you can then turn into PDF slides and then upload 
to document sharing sites. You could also take ebooks or write short reports like viral reports where we actually touched on that. Five to seven page short reports that really solve a need in your market. And then you could turn around and upload those with a website link in them to a site like SlideShare. And SlideShare is just a great website. It's got a lot of traffic on it already. You can go out there. You just want to follow their guidelines. You don't want to submit garbage. It needs to be unique content. It needs to be of high quality. And what you're going to do is go out there, follow their steps to upload the content. So you can see here it says upload and go through their process to get it uploaded. You can upload PDFs, PowerPoint files. The best thing I like to upload are PDFs. You can do videos if you have like a pro account. But most of the time, your best bet is going to be like PDF files. So there are SlideShare out there. Um, there's also other document sharing sites on Google that you can come across as well. Um, eBizma, again, has a very nice listing of file sharing websites out there. These are other places you can just upload uh, direct files to them. Some of these are other like, uh, you know, non-document sharing sites, but you can kind of play around with that particular list. And then you can do another search for sites like SlideShare. There's uh, Vimeo. There's several other sites out there. Similar site search will give you a really good idea as well. Um, there's Slide Boom. And these are all additional websites, you know, on that are different from SlideShare.net. Slide Rocket, this is another one that you can use to upload content and get it shared online. And the, the key part is just go out there and find similar sites related. Um, Docs Talk is another big one. DocsTalk.com, D O C S T O C.com. And this is another really big one where you can actually upload your content and you might want to consider if you're doing a lot of content a premium membership and so like with any of these traffic methods you want to just keep your budget in mind and understand hey is this going to be worth it or not am I going to get a return from it am I going to actually use this am I going to submit enough content to make it worthwhile but with these sites it's just a matter of taking content you already have it could be articles that you've already submitted to like eZine articles and you could actually turn them into complete PDFs or or convert several of these articles that you've done into PDFs and just repurposing that content onto another site that's going to draw in a different segment of customers and people for you. So really consider SlideShare.net, DocsTalk, and other document sharing sites as part of your overall web traffic strategy. And this actually wraps up our 25 traffic methods training for you.